should Roe v. Wade fail? It's going to be up to the states and state legislatures to make sure that dormant laws like the one that we have here in Michigan from 1931 aren't triggered back into existence. So uh, SB 70 and its three companion bills, they repeal a 1931 law that is still on Michigan's books. Public Act 328 of 1931, so it's a 90-year-old bill that criminalizes abortion, not just for the recipient of the abortion, but also the provider. And it, the, the penalties for them are felonies uh, without the ability of parole. It's an archaic bill. If people go in and, and look at the public act, um, there's a little note at the bottom, a little footnote that says, you know, after 1973, because of the Supreme Court ruling on Roe v. Wade, that the law is unconstitutional. However, because of the intimate threat that we're seeing to Roe v. Wade, were it overturned by the Supreme Court, which has become increasingly hostile to abortion, that it would then potentially make the 1931 Public Act no longer unconstitutional and therefore potentially enforceable. But it's not just a pen that should be protecting women's rights. They should be enshrined in law. And yet, O oh Lord, you are our father, we are the clay, and you are the potter. He has no appetite for bringing this up through the legislature. And he has been consistently hostile to abortion and to abortion rights. It is comparable to the scourge that we endured when we still had slavery in this country. It says that they're not interested in protecting health care and protecting reproductive rights all the way from birth control through access to abortion. It's, it's paternalistic. It is about trying to control people, primarily women. And it, it's really sad that there's this fundamental disrespect for the bodily autonomy and the decision-making of uh, women and other people who are transgender having necessary, important reproductive care.